Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to have a look at creating a report where you can use concatenation, where you can join narrative text strings to field information to generate an interactive report. So first of all, this is part seven of the HR database. And what I want to do is create a query, first of all, that's going to show me all the staff and the courses that they did. So that's a list of all the staff. And there's a list of the courses that there are available. And you can see the staff ID there as well. So let's just go go for that. If I click on create query design, get the grid up. And I'm just going to drag staff details and just make that a bit bigger so you can see everything. All the fields that's available there. And I also want the courses table in there. The link is already made from previous sessions, but just to remind you what the links are for this database, go to database tools and relationships. That's the link, staff details being the main tables. You've got absenteeism dropping off there, holidays, and this one courses, which is what I'm looking at now. So creating a query there. So what I want is these three fields dropping into this grid. So that gives me that. I want the course type from this table. So that'll be Excel level one, for example, and the date. So if I just look at that, see what that looks like. Run that. So that lists the person and then the courses and the date of the training, which is what I want. So Dave Jones has done two courses, everybody else has just done one course. If I save this query, QRY course completed, something like that. So now I've got the query there, course completed. I can click on that and create my report where I can then do a little bit of concatenation, nothing too technical. If I click on report design, get into design there, just make that a little bit bigger. So what I want to do is I need to get this to look at that query. So I'll go to the property sheet. It says record source there. Drop the little arrow down and pick the query that I've just done, which is that. Then I can flick to the table fields there. The fields for that query, should I say, not table. Make this a little bit bigger, just a bit, a bit wider so you can see it. Now I need to populate the, the report. So first of all, I want some grouping. And I'm going to click add group at the bottom there and we're going to go for staff ID just to give me myself some space there. And what you would normally do is you'd pull in the fields like this and you would have to play around with this, get it all nice and laid out. Keep clicking on view to have a look. That's what that's going to be for each person. Big space that needs to be closed up. If we go back into design on this for a second and get rid of this and use a feature called concatenation. Where you don't have to worry about the size of names and things like that you just use um, an ab box from this controls area on report design and you draw a rectangle like so and you don't need a label for this example get rid of that but what you do have to do is you have to start start with equals now you want to join i want to join the first name and the surname fields together so first of all, first name straight in square brackets, first name, don't need to worry about anything other than that. That'll just say the first name, but now I need a space. Now the concatenation symbol in Access and Excel, to be honest, is the and sign, like that. Now to indicate a space, I need to open quotes, that's shift and two, do a space on the space bar, and then another shift and two to get the double quotes. And then I need to do the and sign again. So I'm going to call that a glue point. So I don't have to keep saying that. Square bracket, surname, close square bracket. Now, as long as you've got that correct, Access should allow that. It does. Let's have a look. So that says everybody's name. Now, I want a bit, a bit more narrative after all of that. So I need another glue point at the end of that and another set of quotes because I want to put this. So it's going to say Stephen Saxton has completed 
the following courses. Colon, the end of that. And then I need to close that sentence with a set of quotes and then have a look at what that looks like to make sure it's not too squashed up. So that, look, that looks okay. Stephen Saxon has completed the following courses. Dave Jones has completed the following courses. So, okay, go back into design and you keep flicking between the two till you get it right. Now, the details area, I want the course type, which will be Excel, and the level and the date of training. Again, I need to put that into an AB box. So I'm going to draw that there. And a little tip for you is when you draw these boxes, make sure you draw them bigger than you need. You can adjust them afterwards. Starting off with equals. So course type is just going to be that in side square brackets, course type. Then I need a glue point because then I want the level space and then another glue point and then level, the word level. Move that out of the way a minute. Close the bracket and then I need another glue point because I want the date of training in there. So date of training. I need the quotes open space, another glue point, square bracket, and then the file, the field name is date of training. So I can type that date of training, close the square bracket on that. Just have a quick look, see if I've not missed anything out there. So these little glue points are quite crucial. And then you want to have a look at what it looks like. Sim Saxon has completed the following courses. Access level two. Tense. You could put on the date, so you could put some more narrative in there because inside of that, so Excel, so of course, Excel level one, date of training. So you could go in back and then do that. So if I put the word instead in front of that, I could put the word horse. I need open quotes, horse. Then I'd have to put a glue point there. Uh, and I'd have to close those quotes. Now I need a space before you close those quotes. Space, otherwise you'll see it's all squashed together. Of course, it's going to excel level one. And then inside of these, you could put um, date of course. And make sure there's a space at the end there. I might need a space there as well. And you keep having a look, let's have a look, see what that looks like. Course Excel level one, date of course. Okay, that's it. That looks all right. Now, all, obviously, all this has to be tidied up, and these boxes need to get be got rid of. Um, and this space now needs to come up a little bit. I don't need all this space. Just click on there, push that up there, get rid of all of this space because that's why there's a big gap. This probably needs to go across to the left slightly. If I go on to format, I can make that. Bold. You can change the color of the font if you want something else. Don't know what color. Let's go for orange. That might. Let's not go for orange. I'll leave it like that. Let's have a quick look. Always keep having a look. All right. So these boxes are a bit. I don't like these boxes, and it's a bit tight there as well. So you're going back and forth between the two things. That needs to be pulled down a little bit more, and then you can maybe push that up to the box. So there, this font might want to change the size of that. So let's go and go in there and make that stand out a bit more. 14, say. And then you've got to go into properties. If you want to get rid of all these boxes, you need to go into properties, onto the property sheet format area. Find where the background style is, background style, and then set it to transparent. And then let's have a look at that one. Okay, so. Didn't set that to transparent, so I'll do that again. So, Steam Sassons complete the following courses. Course Excel level one, date of course, blah blah blah. He's done two courses, so gap there, don't want that. So, that's this gap here. Bring that up to the bottom. Have a look. That's push them together. And that's, you just basically play around with it until you're happy with this layout. Um, let's go back into design and let's get rid of these boxes. So we need to find it in background. 
I'm on that box yet. So style there, back border style. That's the one I should have had, not background. It was already on that. That needs to be transparent. And I want that to be transparent as well. Border style solid. No, just knock that off. Too transparent. Let's have a look at that, see if I've sussed that. There you go. I've knocked that off. And again, you can get rid of this shaded area if you don't want that. But that's all I want to cover on this little video. How you can use concatenation to pull field information into text narrative. You can also do that at query level as well. But let me just save this. Call it RPT for report. Courses attended. Like that. So that's ready for the next time. And then obviously, once you've got it all working, you can go and add your branding and your logos and things like that. So hopefully that's of use. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.